Welcome. This movie will introduce how to compare models in a confirmatory factor analysis. Um, specifically, we'll be comparing models where we've made uh, or introduced constraints into the model. And I'll illust illustrate this using uh, or by comparing the congeneric tau equivalent and parallel uh, measurement models that we discussed in class. So what I've done initially is drawn the one-factor model that we've been dealing with in class, and I've gone through and I've labeled the variance for the alliance as V1. And I've labeled the error variances E2 through E6, and I've labeled the factor loadings um, uh, B2 through B6. Now you'll need to go through and do that uh, yourself when you fit these models um, using the object properties uh, tool in AMES that uh, I described in the previous movie. Um, we'll also be using the manage models command that I described in the previous movie, but we'll go into a little more detail here. So let's go there. Um, you go to the analyze menu and down to manage models. And up comes this uh, dialog box. Uh, again, as I mentioned last time, on the left-hand side are all the parameters that we've named. So you can see uh, the different factor loadings, B2 through B6, as well as the uh, five error variances, E2 through E6, and the variance of the latent variable. So as you'll recall, in uh, lecture, we define the congeneric model as one where all the factor loadings are freely estimated and all the error variances are freely estimated. So the only constraint we're going to impose in the congeneric model is to set the variance of the factor equal to 1. So the name of our variance, remember, is V1. So in the parameter constraints box here, we type V1 equals 1. And we provide a model name. We call that uh, the congen uh, generic model. That is our only constraint. Now I'm going to copy v1 equals 1 for use uh, in the next model. Okay, now we want to create the tau equivalent model. So to do that, we go down to new and click that. Now it will bring up a blank bo box that says model number two. So we're going to call this one the tau equivalent model. Again, the tau equivalent model, we will fix the uh, variance of the latent variable to one. Remember, in the tau equivalent model, all the factor loadings are constrained to be equal, but the residual variances, or those error variances, are allowed to be freely estimated. So in order to set the uh, factor loadings equal to zero, we uh, refer to each of the labeled factor loadings. So since we called them B2 through B6, we'll say B2 equals B3 equals B4 equals B5 equals B6, or B6. So now that's saying in this model, we want the variance of alliance to be equal to one, and we want all the factor loadings um, to be equal to one another. Um, and so that's all. So again, I'm going to copy each of these things, because we'll use them in another model. So now we click New for the parallel model. So we're going to call this one Parallel. And we're going to paste uh, the constraints from the tau equivalent model. The last set of constraints for the parallel model is that not only are the factor loadings equal to one another, um, but all the error terms down here, all those error variances are equal to one another. So we say E2, E3, E3, E4, E5, and E6. 
Okay, so now we've set uh, those constraints uh, to be equivalent to what the parallel model assumes. Now notice over here on the left, it now shows three separate models that the uh, Amos is going to estimate, congeneric, tau equivalent, and parallel. So now that we set these constraints, we can just hit close. And we click our abacus to run the, the analysis. We can see that all three um, are OK, so all analyses have gone well and have and Amos has found a solution. All right, so let's quickly glance, let's click on congeneric, and let's look at the unstandardized estimates. So we click here, and we see, as we expect, that all the factor loadings are estimated freely, and so they differ, as well as the error variances. Now, just by chance, or not chance, but not by any constraints we put, the error variances for 2 and 4 happen to be equal, at least rounded to the second decimal point. Um, but those were freely estimated. We didn't add any constraints. So now let's click on tau equivalent. We can see that we've added those constraints, so all of the factor loadings are equal to one another. 0.78. And also, all the error variances were freely estimated. 2 and 6 happen to be equal but again, not because of any constraints that we've added to the model. Lastly, let's look at the estimates of the parallel model, and we can see that all the factor loadings are equal, and all the error variances are equal. 